So we have a pretty interesting problem here. We have a ball that's dropped from high to 10 feet, and each time it rebounds to two-thirds of its height before. So a couple questions we might ask about that. So how many bounces until it goes up only six inches or less, less than six inches, let's say? And what's the total distance covered? Um, so let's think about what happens. So it gets dropped from 10 feet, then it bounces, and it goes up to only two-thirds of that and goes back down bounces, two-thirds of that, so on and so forth. So, when it first falls, it covers 10 feet. Then it bounces back up, and it does two-thirds of that. Then it comes back down, oops, of the 10 feet. When it comes back down, it does two-thirds of 10 feet again. Then it goes back up, and it does two-thirds of the two-thirds of ten feet. And then down, it does the two-thirds of the two-thirds of ten, of ten feet again. And so what you can see is we actually have a geometric sequence. So the height on the first bounce is ten. Second bounce is two thirds times ten. Third bounce is two thirds squared times ten, and so on. So we have a common ratio of two thirds. So a sub n is going to equal how high we go on our first bounce. So ten to the two thirds times n minus one. Well, let's see, how do we want to, let's do it to the n, because when we have no bounces, it's 10. At one bounce, it's 10 times 2 thirds. So this will give us, basically, the height of any given bounce. We want to know when it's going to be less than 6 inches, so let's find out when it's going to be 6 inches, how many bounces. So 10 times 2 thirds to the n equals, we're not going to put in 6, because we're doing this in feet, equals 1 half. So, we're solving an exponential equation. So we can divide both sides by 10. And we get 2 thirds to the n equals 1 over 20. Let's solve this using our logs. So log of both sides, because that allows us to pull the n out front. And we're going to get the number of bounces to be exactly uh, 6 inches is log of 1 over 20 over log of 2 thirds. Let's see what we get with this. So this is something you want to be careful how you put it into your calculator. I know it's not easy to see my calculator, but let's put it up here. Um, I'm going to make sure you use the right parentheses. Log of 1 divided by 20 divided by log of 2 divided by 3. So we get that this is about 7.4. So what that tells us is on the seventh bounce, it's not quite, uh, it's still a little more than 6 inches, so um, and eight bounces, it's going to be less than six inches. So, that's how we can handle that. Now, we need to think about the total distance traveled. Um, what they mean, what we mean by that, you know, it goes ten feet down, then two-thirds of ten feet up, then two-thirds of ten feet down. So, we're actually going to sum up the terms of our sequence for this. So, let's get a little bit more space. I'm going to use something we did here. Sorry about my camera there. So right here I had started doing the bounces. So that was drop, that was first bounce up, down, up, down. So if we look at the pattern here, 10 feet for down plus, now this one, notice I basically have two of them, so two times two-thirds times 10. 
because one's for up and one's for down. Plus two times two thirds squared times ten. Again, one's for up, one's for down, and so on and so forth. So what we have is we have a geometric series. Now the whole thing may not be geometric because of the two. This one didn't get doubled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it. So I'm going to have the 10 separate and I want to see if I can look at this as a geometric series. Well, notice I have a common ratio of 2 thirds again and so I have 2 thirds to the n and now my first term is not just going to be 10, it's actually going to be 20. So that's where it kind of breaks from the pattern, and we don't want to include the first term, but every other term we can. Now here, notice that it starts at 2 thirds to the first, so I'm going to start it at n equals 1. And we want the total distance traveled, so we want to measure this thing as it goes to infinity. So we have 10 plus an infinite geometric series. Well, we can do the sum of an infinite geometric series. Remember that the sum is equal to the first term over 1 minus the common ratio. So our total distance traveled will be 10 plus the first term. So if I plug in 1, I get 20 times 2 thirds. This is all over 1 minus our common ratio of 2 thirds. So now we don't really need that one anymore. We know we're doing the total distance traveled. Okay, so we have 10 plus 20 times 2 thirds over 1 third, which is equal to 10. We're going to flip and multiply plus 20 times 2 thirds times 3. This works out pretty nice. These 3's cancel. So we have 10 plus 20 times 2, or when all is said and done, the ball going up and down is going to travel a total of 50 feet. So that's how we can apply an infinite geometric series to solve this problem.